Okay, so I think we're going to stick with the Vincent Van Gogh theme for a minute. Uh, one of the things I love about uh, Vincent and that I learned about in the video I told you about last time is that, or a couple of things I learned, is that Vincent didn't use varnish. Now, I thought I was the only one in the world that didn't use protective varnish, or one of the few. And when people talk to me in public about varnish and protective varnish and, you know, all giving it a coat and all that, they kind of talk down to me because I don't want to. I don't want to put that barrier between the viewer and the paint. I don't want to put um, a sunny glow over the top of the sunny glow that I have actually spent time trying to produce using just different mediums and different types of paint. I love, I love the way mediums like Neo McGill will allow light to go through to the aerosol, bounce back through that thick, wonderful oil and produce, produce this fabulous glow. I don't want to cover that up with a varnish. And so I was deeply heartened to learn that Vincent didn't want it either. He didn't want that protection between the viewer and the paint. He wanted people to experience the paint as he put it on the canvas. Another thing I learned about him is he had absolutely no doubt, no doubt, of his place as an artist in this world. Okay, granted he didn't sell anything and he ended up shooting himself and was deeply depressed and sad because he couldn't get anywhere. He couldn't get anyone to, to see his work and take it seriously, no one but his, but his brother Theo. But he knew his value, and that is so desperately hard when we're told every day we are nothing, whether it's in the studio or out in the world, that we are nothing. It, it is so desperately hard to hang on to who we know we are and what we can contribute to the world. But we do it anyway. If Vincent can do it out in the middle of nowhere with no Instagram, no phone, no one to pat him on the back every day, we can certainly do it. We can continue to do it. Now another thing I learned about Vincent and another thing that makes him my superhero, including the first two things, is he not only built up color and layers and texture with thick oil paint and wagged his finger at the middle of the classical painting world that said, you must varnish, you must do that. This waved his finger at them and said, I'm going to do what I think is right because I know my value. I believe in what I'm doing and I know one day, I feel one day it will be important. Even if Theo is the only one that sees it right now. Theo and his wife, by the way, and Theo's wife is the reason we know about Vincent Van Gogh today. As hard as Trio, Theo tried, he couldn't quite get it there, but she grabbed the baton and she said, Vincent is someone to pay attention to, or was someone to pay attention to, because they were both gone at that point. But she said, this is the painter the world needs to see. It is only because of her. So thank you to her, and I can't remember her name right now, but the last thing that I really appreciate about, the, uh, about <laughs> Vincent, not only the layers, is that he allows us to see through the paint. He leaves some, he leaves some of the canvas empty. So we're seeing the gesso, the yellows, the, the uh, whites that he mixed, the linen color over the linen, that he was using, or the dish towel he was painting on, which I found out about in another painting of his. He used what he had, but what he did was he appreciated what was below. He, he respected the canvas and what it could whoop, give, what it could give to the painting and to the viewer. Now, I've seen this in one other artist up close, and that was Norman Rockwell, and I love Norman Rockwell. I love Norman Rockwell, but he also allowed the raw canvas to show through and the raw gesso. Vincent so much more with raw canvas. He stretched his own. He had to. Um, he, he had to do it. Uh, he couldn't afford uh, to pay people to stretch his, his, his canvases, um, unlike more accomplished artists, more ex socially acceptable artists. He stretched his own. So. 
Um, anyway, he allowed, he allowed the canvas to poke through. And I just think that's brilliant during a time when you're told you do A, B, and C. He, he did A, B, and C for a while, but it didn't work for him. It didn't fit. So he found his own way. He said, that's okay, you can keep A, B, and C. I'm going off to Q, R, M, P, W, 2, 4, whatever. Um, and he's going off into his own way. On his own, he's building his own map to his own country. A lot of analogies in there, but you know what I'm saying. And those are things I forgot to mention about, mentioned last time. So anyway, I'm down to, um, I've been gessoing the sides of my, the, the sides of my canvases here. I've got King Femme again. I've actually reworked King Femme, the face on King Femme. She's, uh, they have been driving me crazy. Turned it around, put it up against the wall so, till I could turn it around and see it with fresh eyes. Now I've seen it with fresh eyes. I've been redoing the face and I really just want to finish this up. But I get to a point in every painting where I can't quite get it done. And I can't figure out why. And then I remember, because I have to do the sides. Now when I do my sides, it's really not so much as an afterthought, although it kind of appears that way. It's not really an afterthought. But I gesso the sides down, and then I take um, spray paints, and I go over. And I try to very carefully place colors along the sides. Some of the colors are in the painting. Some of them are just colors that I like. But eventually, and this again will be layer on top of layer on top of color on top of color, and then it will have a glaze. This is the only thing I glaze in my paintings are the sides, and I give it a nice warm glow. But then I turn it around, and for some reason, it allows my mind to click, 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 figure out how to finish the painting. And this really isn't something I've seen people do before. So I'm feeling kind of vincent -y right now. I feel vincent -y. I realized. I've been doing this for several years. Um, I've seen many, many, many artists not quite, not, know, not quite know what to do with the sides, so they'll paint them a solid color, or they'll extend the paint, the idea of the painting around to the sides. I, I, I don't really like that. Seen it a hundred million times now, I'm okay. I'm gonna go my own way. I'm gonna Vincent myself. But, in that, but one thing I forget to do when I go to do this is I forget to cover the front or I get lazy and I don't want to run paint and tape and you know make sure it's all secure. I kind of do this and then I'm swearing at myself later that I didn't protect the painting and then I have to clean up the mess I made because I'll end up with aerosols over the front. If you try and do this at home, the aerosols are acrylic so if they land on the oil paint Eventually, they're going to crack or chip off, which could be kind of fun. It's much funner than trying to clean them off later, which I do all the time. Because that's how we roll. But I've got all these, I've got all kinds of little stencils and shapes that I like to use. I kind of has, have some signatures, uh, signature pieces that I use. This is like Dollar Store or Michael's, but I have things that I've found that I use, things that I've picked up off the streets that have interesting shapes, doilies, which I love, but I definitely have my own feel, my own signature in this. Sounds very bougie bush, doesn't it? I have a signature and no one can copy it. That's a lot of crap. Oh. Yeah, and then sometimes little sprayer things don't want to work. But this is what I do, is I build up colors and texture, and I'm really not sure that's appropriate for this painting. Oh, I know what shape I wanted to use. I wanted to use the leaves. But you'll see the, them in all the sides of my paintings. Anyway, yeah, I don't think I wanted to use that shape. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to go ahead and work on this. I'm going to go get some mineral spirits in a second um, because I'm out and I have to.
just have to. So um, we're going to go count some change and get this together. Anyway, uh, yep, that's kind of it. Ciao. Vincent. What's Vincent?